Man, so I ended up watching Judas and the Black Messiah and you know, for I, I grew up in the Bay Area in Sacramento, so uh, you know, I was familiar with the history of the Black Panthers in Oakland and in the Bay Area and I have friends that are still, you know, interfacing with, with the organization and, and taking a lot of the, the ideals that they championed and really are trying to see that see that come to a modern a modern day rendition and and looking back at that that movie it you know you it, it's one thing to hear about the stories that you know friends and family would talk about but it's another thing to see it all sort of happen and take place to where like you really get an idea of like what people were going through just to just to get just to experience decency right like this stuff has been going on for years and you know when i when i saw the movie it it really you know it was it was frustrating and it was frustrating because this is we we look at this whole this whole insurrection thing and we look at how people were talking about how the black panthers are trying to take over and and kill all the white people and all that stuff but they weren't and really just looking at just that that whole experience it it, it just really sh stood out to me that this is just a you know this whole situation is just it's messed up like it, it's really messed up and so after after watching i was just like okay you know i i worked on a brianna taylor project i worked on a uh the george floyd project and i'm exploring like social impact in ar right like those are the things that i'm trying to really explore and put out there so that others can explore and there was always like a quirk with it right where with the george floyd thing it was just AR app without code, you know, basic ground plane tracking, you know, put a model there, scale it, rotate it, take a picture, you know, have it exist in the world. And then with the Brianna Taylor thing, it was, it was really about, you know, using like harnessing the power of technology and paper as a technology to uh, build an experience that is that is very personal, but also dynamic. You know, you have sound, you have you know, music, you have motion, all those different things. And so with this one, I wanted to sort of combine the two where you have an experience that you can place and then you can enhance it. You can augment that experience that's already being augmented, right? And so using animation, using a timeline, using sound, using all these things that, uh, that happen in sequence, but are also very dynamic. It provides a very interesting thing and then you could go out into the world and you could augment the world and, and have it literally come to life in in unimaginable ways and and you could scale it and rotate you could do all those other things too and it, it's it's just augmenting layering on those things layering on those things and with this i i really have been exploring that the the interesting thing about it was you know like I wanted, I wanted to pay homage and I wanted to, I wanted to speak to something that really spoke to me about the movie was that, you know, the, the things that they went through, particularly Fran Hampton and, and everybody there was that they, they were sacrificing something for an idea that, uh, they never get to experience. And, and so they, their existence and they, and their efforts, uh, have impact. And those, those implications are, are widespread, you know, that just seeing that, just seeing just a glimpse of his life and how that's, how that was portrayed, uh, inspired me and impacted me to, to innovate in this way that, that uses a medium, uh, in ways that just haven't been done. And, and I wouldn't say like the technical aspect of it having, have not being done but the the idea that you build these memorials 
these immersive memorials that you can that you can take with you everywhere you go. You can literally pay homage to something uh, on your own accord, your own dime, and they can be as grand of a scale as possible. And you have the liberty to to add to that or remove from that uh, the way you see fit. You know, and so it's not a, it's not about getting a permit. It's not about getting this or this so that you can ask permission to do something to express yourself. It's a it's about trying to create impact points for us to connect in personal ways around things that we're all experiencing. We not might not be aware of all the details, but we're experiencing it at all. And and we want to communicate how we feel about that. And so you know, it, it's, you know, it, I always, I always catch myself when I'm, you know, inspired to do stuff based off of the lives or the tragedies of other people, particularly black people that have been happening. And, uh, and it sucks, you know, it really sucks sometimes. But when it comes to impact, like we're all impacted each other just by very existence. And to say that, like, we don't have we don't have power to, to change things or we don't have agency, it, it's, you know, to to acknowledge that shows that there is an impact and that there is agency because you could wake up one day and you just say, I just I just want to check out. And and you can because you have agency to do so. Uh, on the flip side. You could say, I just want to keep going. You know, I want to see where it goes. And you can because we have agency to do so. And people will continue to tell us that we can't. But time will tell, you know, once you just grit your teeth and, and keep grinding away. And so it despite Fred Hampton going to jail and, you know, just losing his friends not having access to things like he kept he kept down that path and you know for me sort of going into medicine and going into this whole immersive space and trying to get more black people into it like it, it's a it's you know these things have these things have consequences day-to-day -day consequences that i have to figure out how to navigate you know i gotta make sure that projects i'm exposing people to uh inspire them to to create them i have to make sure that we're all just we're all able to like communicate in a way that that you know we're able to disseminate all these opportunities right like it, it's these are it, it's you know it is what it is and i think just having the liberty to be able to pay homage in this way and then also create inspirational points that um that further that inspiration it's uh you know, it's 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 a privilege that I that I truly appreciate. And so with it, as usual, you know, thanks for thanks for all the time and the energy and stuff that you all have been, you know, giving me over this journey. And be sure to check me out on the Future of Everything Festival. Be sure to, you know, just tap in with me. Patreon.com slash Utopia. Iltopia.com, shop.iltopia.com for all the merch. Uh, Stuck on an island for all the podcasts and YouTube videos. PDX Black Rose, Black Superheroes Matter. Uh, really appreciate the time. You know, appreciate everything. And, you know, still down this path of trying to pay for medical school. So, you know, let's let's like, subscribe, do all this, do all the stuff, you know. Uh, and really excited to yeah really excited to just continue this journey so adios
Yo, 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 this is Steve from Stuck on an Island. I definitely appreciate you taking the time to check out my work. Follow me on all the social nets. Be sure to check out my studio, Illtopia, on all the other platforms. And if you want to get some merch, check out shop.illtopia.com.